So, with the 2020 free agency basically being done for the Falcons at this point, I really want to kind of, you know, go over a topic that, you know, I haven't really seen a lot. And that is, which Falcon is in store for a huge payday next? Now, I'm not talking about like a you know, one-year deal or even a two-year deal. I'm talking about, like, a long-term, you know, deal. I'm talking about, like, at the very least, three or four years, probably four or five-year deal with the Falcons. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started and see which Falcon is in store for a huge payday next. So, when I did this list, I looked at the upcoming free agents for the next two years for the Falcons. And I was really looking at this list. And in 2021, free agents for the Falcons that were supposed to enter free agency are guys like Todd Gurley and Alex Mack and Keanu O'Neill. In 2022, it's guys like... um. Calvin Riley, Foy Sade Alucon, and Ricardo Allen. Um, I want to say this. Um, I'm actually narrowing this list down to the final three. And um, the reason I'm doing this is to like not make this video too long. But, you know, I'm going to talk about some players. So, Alex Mack... Um, I do think that, you know, he'll only be in the league one more year. Um, I don't see him playing after this year. Um, I look at a guy like Todd Gurley, you know, he'll, he may be productive for the Falcons, but if we do keep him after next year, it probably needs to be another one year deal too at the max because we don't know how long Todd Gurley is, knee is going to be able to hold up. And then Keanu Neal is a guy who shows a lot, a lot of great talent when he's on the field and can be maybe one of the best safeties in the league when he's healthy, but he hasn't been able to stay healthy the last two seasons. When I look at 2021, I look at um, Calvin Ridley. He is definitely going to be a great receiver down the road for us. Look at Foy Sade Alucon. He is definitely... Same thing with Ridley, probably our next, you know, great linebacker, you know, him and Deion Jones are really now going to really control that linebacking core here in Atlanta. And then Ricardo Allen, a guy that can definitely make some plays here and there. Great leadership. And yeah, so here is the final three who could be in contention for our next long-term deal with the Falcons. So I have narrowed it down to the final three, and my final three is actually going to be Calvin Ridley, Keanu Nail, and Foy Sade Oluokan. The reason why I chose these three is number one, th these three, unlike a guy like an Alex Mack, they're still young. And, you know, unlike a Todd Gurley, well, with Keanu Neal, you know, I mean, he has his injury concerns. They probably will be able to play long-term, you know, possibly. They're, they have a greater chance of playing long-term. And, you know, overall, you know, they're not, you know, they're just, you know, it really entering their the prime of their careers. So, yeah, so... The first person that I am going to take off this list is Foye Sade Oluokon. He is definitely a great player. He will definitely turn into maybe one of the our better defensive players. But right now, you know, he is really, you know, going to keep growing. But I don't know if the Falcons are going to, you know, really give him, you know, a big, you know, contract, like, you know, three, four, or five years. He may end up getting a two-year one at first, but I just don't know. The next player that, so now we're down to two, Calvin Ridley and Keanu Neal, and 
The player that I want to take off the list next is Keanu Neal. And let me say this. If it wasn't for his injuries, he'd probably have been paid already, to be honest. If it wasn't for his injuries and the cap situation we're in, he'd already probably have been paid. But the reason why I'm not, you know, going to put him as the most likely is because of this. The injuries. He is a guy that can no doubt. No doubt, it's hit hard. He can force fumbles. But another thing is, he really needs to find a way to, you know, actually cover guys. You know, he really hasn't, you know, been able to, you know, cover very well. You know, he doesn't have flat out awful covering. But, I mean, you know, that's what a safety is supposed to be. So, now that only leaves one left. And that one is Calvin Ridley. And Calvin Ridley is a great, great player on our, you know, offense. He's going to be our next great receiver. You know, when Julio retires, he's definitely going to be able to step in and, you know, be, you know, our receiver, our number one here in Atlanta. And, you know, It'd be really dumb for the Falcons not to pay Calvin Ridley. I now what do they pay him? I'm gonna go with four years, forty-four million dollars at the moment. He is our number two wide receiver, and you know, he may want a little more, but I do not know. You know, I think he may know that right now he's a number two, and Julio's definitely at least gonna be here. You know for, you know, a few more years. So, yeah, I think Calvin Ridley is our next to get paid here in Atlanta. You let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments below. Um, And, yeah, the, so I will see y'all on Monday. Rise up.